So The Land of Plenty is a body of work that I've been making for quite some time. I think about this work as being about the multi-centered nature of being and how as a human we're constantly dealing with physical experiences and um, emotional happenings and completely unrelated feelings and experiences that are beyond our own control coming into our life and like digital nudges and like all of these other parts of what our modern human experience is like and taking all of those parts and pieces and kind of stitching them together into a momentary experience. I think about these paintings as being kind of like a metaphysical abstraction of what that feels like to be existing now in this space, which is essentially just a reflection of a, it's what culture is. It's just a reflection of what it means to be a human right now. I work through like a vocabulary of visual marks that happen. So oftentimes within like the paintings and sculptures and tufts, there's bits and pieces that are reflected within a lot of them and you see like a spray paint mark here or like something else there and it can represent like a, um, a neural pathway or like a, a, the feeling of wind on your face when it's really cold or the way that a river moves after its banks flood from a storm and the way that it changes its course. Um, those are the types of things that I notice and that I feel joy around. And I think within this body of work, there's a lot of joy. And I'm trying to convey the joy of what it means to be a human. Um, and finding these, these little moments, these little perfect moments that happen. I think about this, these things that happen all day and how we're trying to just make something out of what we're experiencing as a human. I want to feel like I'm inside of a painting. For me, the paintings are more than the paintings. This is the first body of work that I've made that I would even call paintings. Um, and so I think the thing that excites me about it is the fact that they, they're on the walls and the walls are part of the room and you're part of the room and you're a viewer, so therefore you're part of the art. That's notable, that's noteworthy like being in domestic spaces all the time, it becomes like every part of what your everyday is. And we've like, we've shrunk our, our experience of everyday to just being within our homes primarily. And so I think about art as the experience of people coming to view it and experience it and be part of it. It's not only the painting of the walls and the making of the work and setting it up, it's, it's people coming and being a part of it that feels really important and that also feels like something that we don't have right now during COVID and that's really challenging to engage with work, to get, engage with art when we can't be with each other. I feel really strongly about celebrating abundance and I think it, abundance is something that has so many definitions, it can just be a tiny thing like the a perfect moment that happens and finding that joy within and finding that, that moment of celebration of this tiny victory or this tiny battle that, um, that reminds you that you get to be alive and that the human experience is something that you get to have and that that every day should be celebrated.